Hello and welcome to this development update to Hairstrand Designer. This will be version 1.43 or might even be version 1.5 just to separate it from version 1.42 which is currently out. As you can see the UI is quite a good bit tidier here and also the slider for reduction is now gone. This is because you can now easily override each number of strands in each set by way of clicking on one of these numbers and as you can see this value goes orange because it's already been pre overrode for you I've put 100 into this one, 60 into this one, 40 into this one and so on you can actually see the number of strands just below these set numbers when you click on a set number it basically activates the override uh, function you can see some things turn orange but you can basically use these to override any global functions any global calculations so for example I can change the tapering of just this set alone there's a few other things that still have to be done such as the spacing just now that's still a global function but as soon as I bring in the ability to override that one for this chosen set you'll be able to override for that chosen set. So if I press F8, I'm just going to change up each of these little waves. There's three waves and when you press enter to come back, you can use these values to change everything. But if I want to override, all I do is activate one of the sets and just change the values back again. I can do that for each set, I can do tapering this way. Uh, so a few things that do work is the mixers, they work for override. The strands, the number of strands that you want, that works for override. However, when you change the number of strands in a left side set, it will affect each new set to the right of it. And that's just because of the way that it shuffles through the strands as it generates them. So if you did want to work that way, it's better to work from the right hand side set to change the number of strands so that you don't affect the other ones. So just bear in mind if I change 10, it's going to affect 11. If I change 9, it's going to affect 10 and 11. This is something that I'll probably work out as time goes by. As I see, it could be a, a little bit of an annoying thing. But if you get used to it, then it's fine if you're not too fussy about how things look. And once you're happy, you can basically render everything. So I'll just go ahead and try that. This way, I also get to see if there's any bugs. But the previewer should give you a pretty close idea of what you're going to get. Okay, now that that's done, we can check out the previewer. Uh, the actual render and everything looks as it says. So back to the previewer and you can go ahead and do more overrides. So strands works, length works as an override. As you can see I can change number 9 there. If you hover over the numbers it will actually highlight each number here for you. I may make this a little bit clearer in the future, maybe a nice big number in front. Uh, reduction no longer works because you just basically override manually now. You just change the number of strands you want in that particular set. Spacing, same as before, but I'm going to make that on a pair set thing. Set distance is its own thing. That just gives you positioning. Uh, there's also going to be a little dial that comes up to change positions of things. If you do want to change that, you just use the arrow keys for now whilst hovering over a number. Right, so you have to hover over the number and then use the left right arrow keys. That may change on the release. This is just how it is right now. I'm likely going to do some things for you guys to make it a little bit easier. Um, there might be tonal overrides in the future but not in the next version so that if you clicked here you could basically change the tone of a particular strand so that you can maybe have a a strange coloured streak or something like that uh, but everything else is good so I've still to add waviness 
to the override functionality as well as the frequency tapering is done variation uh, I suppose could get done as you can see it's quite wild uh, variation the variation algorithm does need a little bit of looking at because it's a bit too much uh, thickness that's its own thing thickness range is one thing I think this variation they'll be these will be global as well as the fading that will be global um, we've got the length control there globally so as soon as you go into one of these to change it it becomes an override okay so that's pretty much it for this little development update video i hope to get the other algorithms put in soon so i can release version 1.5 and over and above that i'll be bringing in some controls maybe overriding colors and whatever else I can manage to do. I'll also be introducing uh, extra strands per, per strand. So instead of just drawing one strand, it will change the way it draws them so that you get three or four strands per strand and maybe a variation so that it just looks different. That's been tested and works, but I've not got it fully implemented yet. I also need to work on the, the saving and loading again this won't be backwards compatible, so I will be uh, keeping 1.42 as its own release and 1.5 as a long-term support version so that you get you get the old system of the override boxes down here and everything else if you're still using old files. Uh, but ideally, you would start using this uh, the future release that's going to be out hopefully in the next couple of weeks, maybe by mid-October. Thanks for watching this video and I uh, hope you like it. Bye.